Hey again guys and welcome back. I really liked the last project where I built a noisemaker based on the triple five timer. Um, go check it out in the card up here if you haven't seen it. And on that same thing, a couple years ago I was actually researching the same or a similar kind of thing um, to make noise with a triple five timer but just as I pulled the uh, schematic off the net and I started prototyping it on a uh, breadboard pile of stuff released the exact same video that I was trying to release they sell these triple five timer pianos uh, in kit form but if you look at the parts in the kit you probably already have the parts at home and that's what happened to me and just when I was going to make the video, Pile of Stuff had released his, so he was ahead of me. I shelved the video idea because I figured um, I didn't want to do like the same video as him. And maybe if I waited, you know, a couple months, then I could put my video out and send him more views when I talked about the video myself. Well, months turned into years, and so here we are. Now I actually have a sponsor. So I figured not only will I recreate the circuit on breadboard, but I'll make myself some PCBs too. So this circuit is actually even simpler than the Atari Punk console. Um, the reason for that is we're just using the triple five timer in its regular, I think it's a stable mode. And all we're doing is we're using this interesting ladder of uh, buttons here with resistors in between, uh, simply to change the rate at which the capacitor ends up at its threshold voltage and that's that's really it it doesn't have to be any more complex than that so as you can see here I've got a couple buttons a couple of resistors the resistor values are nearly arbitrary because you can find the circuit everywhere online and everyone has their own opinions on how how many um, how much resistance to put in there are also variations on how many buttons you can use and really there's no reason why you couldn't stretch this ad infinitum I just felt like you know six was a reasonable amount and it has a single triple five timer couple resistors um, two capacitors couple buttons I mean it's really and a speaker don't forget the speaker it's really nothing much to it so let's set our voltage here to nine volts and this one here has um, the, vo the, the sound level goes up and down with the voltage. So I'm going to turn it on. And this breadboard's a bit dicky. So I'm not sure if it'll uh, spring to life or not. So let's see. All right. So, oh boy, that's really loud. I'm going to turn down, <laughs> turn it down a bit. Five volts now. There we go. I mean, that's all there is to it. Super simple. And I figured uh, this is a bit unwieldy, but why not turn it into a circuit board? So, you know, it's time to unbox the PCB. So these came in with the Atari Punk console and they are pretty boards, I feel. I don't think I'm, I made mistakes on these boards like I did with the Atari Punk. Uh, so this one it should be good, but I mean we'll figure it out if it doesn't work Then I'll just make revision two and upload that so when you want to order them You can just pick these up without any issues on them. Oh These guys got the gold plating So one thing about ordering PCBs from PCB way it costs a bit more to get the gold plating on them but there's a little check mark that you can that you can hit where if you want gold plating but you don't want to pay for it, you, you click that little check mark and if they're doing the rest of the boards in the panel in that in gold, they're just going to do yours in gold for free. And that's what happened here. So as you can see, I've got a free upgrade to the gold um, surface finish. And if you see the triple five timer here, the, the lettering, that's actually copper. So I wrote it in, um, you know, removing the solder mask. That's pretty cool. Did I forget to remove the 
PCB number because it's still up on here. Maybe I forgot. Looks pretty though. So I think I should gather up the parts and we should get to soldering. It is extremely impressive to me that this is all you need for this circuit, uh, plus the um, speaker, of course. But basically a handful of resistors, two capacitors, six buttons, um, an IC, and really, you don't need these three parts here, uh, these four parts here. You don't need the power LED, I just like it. Uh, you don't need a socket, you can solder your triple five timer directly into here. And um, you don't need these terminals, you can solder right onto the board. But yeah, this is all you need. So here it is all soldered up and yeah, it went really well, really easy to do. Love this, how, how simple the circuit is. And of course I brought you back for the most important part. I'm going to just straighten the pins on this triple uh, five timer using this uh, pin straightener that uh, Larry had sent in. And then we're going to install the heart of the circuit the triple five timer. There we go. All right, now we're gonna give this uh, five volts. Got the um, speaker installed on the side here. Put it up here if you'd like. But just gonna rattle. Uh, oh, you can't see that. There we go. It's a solid core wire. That's why it's hanging so um, loosely there. And here it goes. Power on, so we got our LED is on, and here we go. So, you can drive your significant other or your kids or your parents crazy with this super simple circuit. Thanks again uh, to PCBWay for sponsoring this video. And this is not the last noisemaker you're going to see. Um, PCBWay gives me a great opportunity to uh, flex my keycad muscles. And um, this one here came out without any issues. That's pretty nice. Don't have to update it. And I got the free gold plating so that was pretty neat so you stay tuned for um, more of these super simple projects and uh, I am planning a KiCad 6 how-to video uh, a circuit like this is a very good circuit to choose if you want to try to learn on your own but if you don't want to learn on your own then make sure you're subscribed that tutorial is coming shortly thanks for watching